guys, welcome. My name is Kati of K Carter Interiors, and I'm here with my very first YouTube video. I'm excited to bring um, a basic quick tutorial on a question that I get asked most, and it's how I create my design concept uh, slash mood board, and it is using PowerPoint. PowerPoint is the easiest, most accessible software tool available, and um, can really impress your clients uh, when you can create a concept that they can visualize and um, just feel confident in before the actual execution of the project. So if you're unfamiliar with what a mood board or design concept is, it is simply a curated collection of inspirational images, text, patterns, materials that can help the designer or decorator um, and, and most importantly, the client visualize the space uh, before it's completed. Um, uh, so it's simply just starting a conceptual design. And uh, PowerPoint is such a great and easy tool, like I've said. And so I'm excited to bring you guys this tutorial. And um, let's get to the video. First, I like to create a border around my presentation slide. It's just, to me, kind of helps centralize your design concept. I click on Insert, Shapes, and then choose the Line option and create a border all around. Now you can change the transparency, the color, and even the line size on the format and shape. Next, I love to add my logo um, or whatever branding symbol you have. You go to Insert, Picture, Picture from File, click on your file, Insert, and then move to whatever location you want. You can expand it, make it smaller. Next important step is to definitely always add a title. Go to Insert, Text Box, drag your text box, and begin typing your title. I usually always include the project title with the space that I'm creating the design concept for. And I change the, the font size and underline to kind of emphasize the project title on all of my slides. Now you get to the fun part of inserting the design concept um, images. So I already have all of my products pulled up. I right click, copy the image, go right click, hit paste, then you're going to begin by picture formatting, removing the background. You're going to extend the lines so that it removes anything that you don't want within that frame. And then you're just going to click back on the slide. Then you're also going to hit picture format again and you're going to crop so that the image no longer has the pieces that you have removed from it and it won't conflict with other images you're going to put on your your design concept slide. So now you're also going to resize it and put, put it in place on the design concept board you're going to go back to the browser to another image that you are ready to copy and paste. You're going to right click, copy image, come back to your slide, paste it. Then you're going to resize it and move it to your location that you'd like. And we're going to grab another image. This is a great example of one that when you click on it immediately, it does not allow you to copy. So you have to click on it again, double click it, and then it'll bring up an image that will allow you to copy the image. So you right click, of course, copy the image, paste it, 
and then you're going to resize. And with this one, I'm also going to leave the remaining items that are in that image alone, just because it provides the same kind of vibe that I want for the space. It provides an inspiration images and kind of texture and material as well. And so here also, I want to push the bed forward, the inspirational um, bedding forward and push the curtain back. So I'm going to go to picture format, bring front, and it's gonna push it to the front. You can also choose to send it backwards if that's what you wanna highlight. I'm going back to my browser to choose another image to add to the bedroom design concept. I'm gonna right click, I chose uh, this one because I, I liked the, um, the direction of it. So copied and pasted of course, brought it in, and I'm also going to remove the background, the white space around it, because sometimes it can conflict with other images like I mentioned before. So I'm going to expand the lines to include whatever I want in that image, and then I want to rotate it, and I'm going to flip it horizontally so that I can change the direction because I, I want it to kind of be pointing in that direction. I've got another image. I'm going to right click, copy the image, go back to my slide. I'm going to right click and paste. Same thing with this one. We're going to go back to picture formatting. We're going to remove the background, extend the frame to include whatever you want in that image. You're going to resize it and adjust the design concept. Um, and this is kind of what you're going to do as you're adding your images. You're really creating the perfect visual visualization for yourself and for the client. And that one I want to bring front so that I can kind of, the, the, cough, the side table can sit um, near the um, accent chair, but not be sitting in front of the accent chair. So now I'm going to insert, add a shape, and put, choose a square option. And this here, you can add um, just a color story of your design concept, which I think is really pretty too. The final design concept will not have this on here, but I'm just kind of showing you how you can choose the um, color story and kind of highlight to the client what your thought is on the color story. And you can choose no outline there. Then you're gonna copy and paste that square and align it perfectly to now create your different color story blocks. Once you've gotten all the blocks that you need and it's all aligned as you'd like, you go back to the color, more fill colors, and you choose the eyedrop option and you can hover over any of the images that you've chosen already on your design concept and create the color story starting from a lighter shade to darker sh shades, so almost like an ombre effect. Um, so I'm now switching over to my actual design. This is how the final design concept turned out. And so it has all of the different elements that I want to show, the different inspirational images, textures, materials, patterns, and then of course this color story that I am just kind of playing around with. Last but not least to finalize the design, I wanted to show you how I add just my little description um, boxes of some items just to give them some idea um, of the different items chosen for their customized design concept. 
and so I just go on insert and then shape form and text box drag very similar to creating the title and I'm going to go to shape form again and I'm going to click the paint bucket and I'm going to fill that in with a color or you can also just copy and paste um, one that you've you know created already so now that my design concept is complete I'm going to go to file save as and I'm going to save it as a PDF this will just really make it um, presentable to the client and I never fail to do this part because of course you can send it uh, through PowerPoint as a PowerPoint slide but I just prefer to um, convert it to a PDF and this is the final look you guys and whether you send it to them uh, via email or presenting it in person it's an exciting time for you and the client to review your finalized design concept Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope that this was a helpful guide for you all to build your design concepts. I will be covering more topics, so please subscribe and hit the notification bell, and I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Bye.